Hi everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. We're on episode 3 and we're already deep in the Minish Woods. Very tiny at the moment, it might not look like it, but we are very small. And we're in search of the Elder in the Minish Village, I believe. Uh, we've just eaten a Jabba Nut, so we can now talk to the little Pecori. I'm getting set to leave for town and visit some of my Minish friends there. Hey! You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live here in Hyrule Town. Now that we're small, we can pretty much get other places, I think, like up waterfalls, through caves, logs, that sort of thing. We Minish live in Hyrule Town and other places too, not just these woods. So of course, it's uh, become quite apparent that most of the, the quests are going to have to be small to do it, I believe. So as usual, we're just doing a little bit of exploring, and now that we can talk to everyone, we need to find the Elder. Oh, this house is open now. Hey. Hey, nice clothes! I want to wear human clothes too! Go for it! Oh, look at their little beds, they had a little leaf for a duvet. Very sweet. Hey. Did you know about the Kingstone Pieces? They're all the rage amongst humans now. Uh, never heard of them. Do you know where the Elder is? There are so many monsters around these woods lately. The Elder said that even the shrine to the north is filled with monsters now. Oh yes, that's where we're actually heading, the shrine, but we need to find the Elder as well. Oh, this looks promising. Hey, nice house! If you want to reforge that sword, you will need the help of an expert smith, Master Malari, and his seven apprentices can help you. They live in the mountains, where they can find all the ore they need. I'm sure the Elder would tell you about it, uh, him if you asked. Well, if we, if we knew where he was, we, we would ask him for sure. Still loving the soundtrack to the Minish Cap, you can't get bored of this Zelda music, can you? Okay, let's, uh, let's go in here again. Hey, now we can understand you! Oh, you speak our language! It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these uh, words, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is uh, Eslo. The child is Mori. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we need to reforge the broken Pakori blade. Ah, yes, and you've come here now to have the blade reforged. If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. These are the crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark these... Uh, where these elements can be found. Oh, so there's one in the village. One north of here, and then two on the other side of the map. Okay, what have we got? Fire, water, um, grass, I guess. And then what's that one? Ice, maybe? The earth elements can be found in the shrine to the north. Oh, the earth element. I thought it was water. And um, to the north of Festari's Abbey, speak with Festari uh, and he will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. Go with caution, evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Okay, so we're going for the earth element. So we need to make our way to the shrine. How do we, how do we go north? Ah, it's another bridge. Yay, another heart container! You got a piece of heart! Now you have two pieces! Collect two more to increase your life energy. Oh, well, we can't go in the water. Is there any secret entrances here? Okay, I guess we need to find a way back out. Doesn't appear to be anything more to explore in there. So we'll, we'll see if we can get a bit bigger now. And go back to our normal size. 
Look how small we are! <laughs> Oops. Well, we wasn't even... We're not even near the edge! There we go. Can we go on this log? No. Okay, uh, we can't go that way because the puddle. Oh, we can't even go through the grass! Okay, we're bigger again! Woo! So what have we learned? Not a lot. Oh, we need to get small. Oh, okay, so there is a, there is a, there is a door at the back of the town, it looks like. So we do need to be in there. Okay, we'll head back to the Pecori town. It looks like we, we missed an exit somewhere. So we'll head back to the town real quick. As quick as a mini Mori can walk. It's so hard to control, like, a three pixel size link. <laughs> Like, this is amazing pixel art, isn't it? Okay, so what did we miss in the village then? Did we go in the shoe? Our ancestors, the ancient Minish, used the portal between our worlds. It brought them into the human world and they settled in the forest. Okay, where's this exit then? Uh, you wish to go to the shrine. Very well, this way. Uh, vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it's quite dangerous. There we go. There was the door in front of us all along. Uh, look at... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was just about to say, look at that cute little village. Oh, so there's another door out that way, but we can't get there either. So we're going to have to go through this cave. Man, this takes some planning, doesn't it? I want to make sure we're not missing anything. Oh, Deepwood Shrine. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elders spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey now, no reason to be afraid of anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait. What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. Okay, you can come with us. So I'm guessing this is like a dungeon then. Whoa. Okay, we can't go through cobwebs. Okay, it's quite dark. Um, how can we light this place up? Hmm, there's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to open it. Quickly! There we go, we found a chest. Uh, you got a small key. Use it to open locked doors and blocks you can only use, uh, you can use it only in this dungeon. Okay, so, can we go on this water? No. Oh, I can't wait till we can jump. I don't like games where we can't jump. Ah, okay. Do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and press R to grab it, then release to pull. You can do it! Quickly! Woo! Um. 
Oh, what even is this? Whoa, that's so cool. So we can use little mushrooms to launch ourselves over gaps. Okay. I'm kind of expecting some sort of boss soon. Oh, we can't beat this one. Wow, look at the size of that barrel. Hmm, oh right. Uh, right, how silly of me. It's not big, we're just small. Uh-oh. Okay, we can't get around anywhere else. Gonna have to go through the barrel. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay, I see what we have to do. No! There we go. I love the tiny little puzzles. Okay, so does that mean we can roll the barrel now? What? Hey, be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. It's okay. Whoa. Okay, we made it to this side, but we have no key. Oh. There we go. That this what a cool mechanic. That's so cool. Okay, so we need to, we need a key at least. One key. Nope, we can't move the, that rock yet. This is so funny. Woo! Oh, cool. A big chest. Oh, we found a dungeon map. Check it out on your map screen. Lighter rooms are ones you visited. The blinking rooms are, is your location. Press up or down uh, to check different floors. Okay. So we haven't even been in that many rooms yet. So it looks like we need to do this about halfway. Okay, we just move that block and then hopefully that will stay like that. Uh, what we need now is something to hold down this switch. Can we push this? There we go. See, we're an experienced Zelda player. We know these things sometimes. Until the times we don't. <laughs> Here we go. Is this a boss or something? Uh, once you take hold of something with R, use uh, the directions to push or pull. This is extremely important, so I hope you take uh, pains to remember it. Oh, so we can actually pull. That's pretty cool. In that case, that means we need to be inside and pull it, doesn't it? Oh.
We got a small key. That's what we were looking for. Uh, you can open locked doors and blocks. You can only use it in this dungeon. Okay, nothing else in here, it doesn't look like. Is that just a light on the wall there? Yeah. Okay, so now we have to go back to the barrel, I guess. Um, because we can't fall down there. It's so cool. This is what this is one of the the funniest mechanics I've seen in a, a sprite based Zelda game. That's so clever. It's like if you notice like many of the dungeons they have kind of a some sort of mechanic in the center that allows you to get through certain routes and doors uh, and then blocks others and that. Sometimes it's like a roundabout that you rotate and but this one's like a 3D version. It's really cool. Okay, so we've got a mushroom. Okay, it looks like we probably check over here first. I'm guessing these are one-way doors. Oh, that's that's tough. Oh, it's because I'm using the Oh, we made it. Yes, because I'm using a joystick rather than like the uh, directional pad, it's very sensitive. Okay, got some more of these slugs. Ugh. Could do with a love heart. Um. Oh, interesting. Okay, how do we get through here then? Oh, I know. Wow, that, that, that was surprisingly difficult. It took me a little while to figure that one out. It was pretty obvious though, but it took me a little while. Okay. Whew, is this like a mini boss? A key? Yeah, a key! You got a small key. Use it to open locked doors and blocks. You can use it only in this dungeon. Okay, we're back here again. So we were right to go around there. It always pays to check the map because you can see it does like a U shape. Um, so it goes down across and up again. So we made the right decision there, I think. Oh, we can't walk through doors with uh, pots. Okay, now which way? <laughs> oh, those are stairs. Let's go down the stairs. Okay, we've got a chest we can try and get into. These chests are massive! We got a compass! Use it to find the locations of hidden items. Press start and then L and R to view the map screen. Oh, so there's another chest in this room, and one in the next room. Okay, there's loads of chests left. How do we get over here then?
We can't make it! Okay, we're gonna have to carry on because we there's no way of getting to that chest. Another heart container! Oh! Ah, we opened the door, okay. So we need another key. So we can defeat those things by throwing pots at them. Oops, we missed! Okay, you walk so slow in this, like, this... So, I don't know what it is, like... Hay, or... Oh, we can't, we haven't got enough pots to get them all. Okay, I think there might be a chest in this room that we couldn't get to earlier. Oh, no. Where's all the enemies? Oh, there they are. Okay, we'll go through this door. Okay, we can't get through the cobweb. Have we, have we, oh, we have got a key. Okay, our first boss! Okay, pretty basic. We have to stun it and then hit it. It's not a happy little caterpillar snake thing. Okay, it's just best to keep out of its way, I think. I think we're... are we doing what we're supposed to be doing? <laughs> I think it's... it is its tail we're supposed to get, isn't it? Oh, it's going quicker now. Oh, we did it! Yay! And a big chest! Uh, you got the gust jar! Hold the button to draw things in and release it to fire them out! Set it to A or B on the item screen. Oh, that is so cool! Okay, so this is how we get rid of cobwebs. So there was a there was a door in the barrel that had a cobweb on it. So let's go and check that out real quick. Maybe that's how we defeat these things. Okay, we'll have to, we'll go back that way, but here we go. This is what we needed to do. Ah! <laughs> oh, this isn't where I was expecting to go. Uh, now was. Unless we find a way to travel by water, we won't be going much further. This is cool. Very hard to control though. We need to go down the waterfall. Whew, that was close.
This is this is so hard to control. I want to go down this way. Okay, get to whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. This is so hard to control. Okay, little bursts. There we go, we got there in the end. Okay, we can just move this pot onto the switch. Whoops. Okay, this isn't where I was expecting to go. Oh yes, this is kind of where I was expecting to go. Wow, this is a, a lot of effort for a, a, a little chest. A small key! So we had to do this, basically. Whoa. Okay, let's head back upstairs to where we were then, I guess. And we've been pretty much everywhere. There's a chest in here that we can't get. Um, a chest in here, apparently. Oh! Oh, wow! You've got 20 mysterious shells! Um, I'm not sure what they're for, but let's just hold on to them for now. Wow, I never knew they were a thing. It's like the secret seashells in Link's Awakening. Cool, so we managed to find that chest. There's one in the next room as well, but we know where that is. We can't reach it. I'm guessing it's that. Oh, these are really hard to... Really hard to defeat. Oh, another switch. Oh, a portal! Here's the chest. Oh, ten mysterious shells! So now we have to check everywhere. <laughs> so there's uh, still a sh uh, chest in here. get there again. Ah. I'm so glad there's a way to defeat these. Uh, there's supposed to be a chest in here. Oh, 10 mysterious shells! What are the mysterious shells for? So mysterious! Okay, we've got all the... All but one, two, three... Okay, so let's head back then, I guess. Okay. 
Yeah, we've pretty much been this way, haven't we? How do we get to that heart container? Uh, okay, yeah, we've been through all here. We need to get... We need to get over there somewhere. There's two. We can get a new heart container from this. There's two in here. Okay, I think if we go to the start, we can use the portal. I'm hoping there's a portal at the start. There we go. There's the portal. Oh, yes. There's some doors here. So we grab this. Yay! You got a piece of hearts! You now have three. Collect just one more to increase your life energy. So there's a chest in here. We've got that chest, have we not? Forever accidentally running into the enemies. <laughs> ah, another switch. Two chests in one room. You got ten mysterious shells. What are these shells? Okay, so now we've pretty much done all of them except the last. The boss, I guess. We need to get back to the start again. But it should be fairly easy to do. We can just go through here. The music in this dungeon as well, it's like, dun, dun. it's really, it's really, it's, the atmosphere is perfect. Okay, so there's two. Some stairs here. The stairs here, which one? One goes up, one goes down, I guess. Oh, this is the dungeon. We'll check the other one. Oh, it goes up either side, okay. Um... Uh... There's still a room we haven't been to downstairs. Twenty rupees! Oh, so that's all we came up this side for, is some rupees. Okay, I'm guessing we're going to be fighting the boss. Actually, we haven't got the boss key, have we? Come to me, mushroom! Woohoo! There we go. Okay. I wish we could store these hearts for later. <laughs> we haven't got the boss key. So we need to go downstairs. Okay. Um... I wish there was an easier way to get back upstairs. Where can we get the boss key from? There's also still one heart container to get.
There we go. You got a piece of heart. You completed a new heart container. Your life energy has been replenished and increased. Cool. But where, where's the boss key? Not in here. Okay, we need to get- I can't remember where the downstairs- There's a room with some stairs in it. Where is it? Here we go. Wait, are we out- Oh, there's another- Okay, so there might be some explore more exploring out here to do. Oh, we must have just got lucky and just went the right way. Here we go. How come the boss key isn't on the map? Oh, I thought I couldn't. <laughs> I thought I couldn't um, walk on this water here, but we should be okay. Too much. Ah. Okay, this has got to be the boss key, hasn't it? got the big key use it to open big doors <laughs> oh what's this another portal oh cool two portals okay nice okay this is it I have no idea what's in store for us But some kind of boss. We're probably going to have to use the, uh, oh. What is going on? There's going to be a ginormous, uh. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, look at the size of it! <laughs> how do we, how do we hurt it? 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so we have to make it wobble. Shrink it down to make it wobble. And then we can hurt it while it's on the floor. Gotta get better at dodging these attacks. Ah! It's getting mad. Okay, fall over. Oh, I think we did it! I hope, because we were low on we low on hearts. Did we do it? Yay, we did it! <laughs> You got the earth element. The power of the earth is in the source of all living things. The earth element is the embodiment of that power. And we got another heart container, yes. You got a heart container. Your life energy has increased and been replenished. Whew. Thank goodness for that. Ah, oh, we've got the Earth Element. You must go tell the Elder at once. Well, there we go. That's definitely a good place to wrap it up. We've managed to do the first dungeon and got the Earth Element. Took a little longer than I thought, but it was a really fun dungeon. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to let me know your feedback below and what you like and don't like about this uh, Let's Play. I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you, of course, to the subscribers and the channel members, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!